now that you know how to style labels, your next challenge is to style some yourself. Specifically, you should style all the rest of your images and bullseyes so that it looks like this. I have two tips for you. First, you can select multiple labels at a time by holding down the command key and clicking on multiple different labels. Then you can go to the attributes inspector and change all of the settings in one go. Second, here are the settings that you should use while styling your labels. That's it. Pause the video, give it a shot, and good luck. All right, so let's style these labels. I want to style them all at once, so I can do that by selecting one, holding down the command key, and just clicking on each of the different labels here. And then I can just go to the color and change it to white. So I'll just enter in 255, 255, 255, and make sure the opacity is set all the way up to 100%. Next, I'd like to set the shadow. I'll just click the shadow, set it to black, 0, 0, 0, and move this down to 50. And I'll make sure the shadow offset is 0 and 1. Next, I will need to change the font for all of them to Arial MT Bold, so I'll just set it to Custom, and from the drop-down, I will find that. Now, at this point, I want to have different font sizes for different elements on the screen. So the 1 and the 100, I want to be a little smaller. So I'll select those two and change the font size down to 14. Now, for the score and the round labels right here, I want them to be 16, so one smaller. And finally, for the target score and the score and round placeholders, I want those to be a little bit bigger, so I'll move those up to 20. Finally, I just need to make sure that these are all sized correctly, so I'll use command equal to size each of these about right. And I'm just gonna arrange these slightly so that everything is still centered. All right, it's looking good. At this point, all of our labels are nicely styled.